This is Special Chronicles, giving respect and a voice to people with special needs. I shudder thinking how the world can be so cruel. I lend my voice to those in care. It's time we try, it's time we care, it's time we stand. It starts with a voice. Welcome to the Special Chronicles show. My name is Daniel Smokowski. I am the founder of Special Chronicles, a Southern Shriver Global Messenger alum with Special Olympics and a Health Messenger, among other titles. Uh, our website, specialchronicles.com, where you can stream our archives of over 750 episodes absolutely for free. And I follow Special Chronicles on social media, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. Again, specialchronicles.com. This week on the Special Chronicles podcast, we are recapping. Uh, this is part two of a recap of our new Special Olympics Illinois Health Messenger training, Becoming a Health Messenger, featuring a conversation with... Uh, a good friend, Lauren Mill, as we share our audio diary of reflections from the training uh, that took place on February 24th, along with uh, new, new in part two uh, that we didn't cover in part one. Uh, we will be also talking about the um, the the second part uh, as well. Uh, and so please put your virtual hands together as we welcome um, back on the Special Chronicles podcast for, uh, I believe, a, a five-time guest, possibly, our good friend, Lowen. You know, welcome back, Lowen. Hey. It's good to have you back on the program. And I believe we, 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 we were trying to figure out how many times have you been on the Special Chronicles podcast? Uh, five? Ryan, this five? it's the fifth time. So you are now, I, I feel like we need to have some type of club now uh, as a five-time guest. Yeah. Uh, yes. So good to have you um, back on. And uh, this time is about, well, I'll listen to those. If you're just listening to the audio podcast, I'll look down in the description uh, or the image for this episode or if you're just go over to specialchronicles.com, click on watch, and then you can watch the, um, watch us on uh, YouTube. Uh, you see uh, it says health mini series. So it's all related to becoming a health messenger. You, well, we're going to both reflect on this training, but uh, before I share why I wanted to become a health messenger, I'll, I'll let you Lohan, go first and kind of share why you want to become a health messenger because what I think is unique is uh, you have taken a, a health messenger training in the past. I know doing in, in 2020, uh, I also took a health messenger training in the past, but this is a brand new uh, training that Special Olympics has for us. So why did you want to become a a, a new a newly certified health messenger? Well, I, it all really started when I was younger. Um, I was figure skating, competing in figure skating at the time, and uh, Dave Breen um was there at my competition and had asked me what I wanted to do for Special Olympics. And I told him I wanted to be a global messenger. And since then, I just, my, my thing is I like taking, as my journey kept unfolding with Special Olympics, I was someone who has always just liked to do more and more and more to help our Special Olympics because uh, Special Olympics has been such a huge thing in my life. Um, it helped me stay fit and healthy and uh, comfortable in my body and all of that. And I wanted to continue and share my journey and story with everyone else and also at the same time, 
celebrate abilities and inspire others to do that. And being a health messenger, it talks about celebrating the abilities of feeling of being fit and feeling good about yourself. And that's basically the whole message that I've been trying to put out in the world. Awesome. I I love that. And um, I think for, for myself, um, I've, um, I've wanted to, similarly to you, wanted to give back and, 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 uh, take, take my athlete leadership to another level. Cause just like what I've done for the past 15 years as an athlete leader, as an award-winning uh, podcast host, uh, is talked about all different parts of the special Olympics, uh, movement, uh, from the sports that, that we compete in to athlete leadership, to becoming a Southern Shriver global, global messenger, uh, and it, a couple of my friends, um, uh, Wene and Hannah, have become health messengers, and and seeing seeing that that this is another important part of Special Olympics. Uh, 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 it it was an easy fit to want it to become a health messenger, uh, but then also with that, trying to myself to get better with my health to uh, exercise more, to lose weight, to uh, um, eat healthier, uh, is, uh, is is also uh, some of why I wanted to become a health messenger as well, to, to grow those skills. And then by sharing, by sharing my health journey, your health journey, journey with our listeners they'll they're able to keep us a, accountable i think as well where we're able to be on this health journey together in yeah and at the same time like our listeners are also seeing how you know seeing seeing us and seeing that with our abilities we're still able to be like everyone else and really work towards our goals of being healthy. Uh, yeah, abs- absolutely. And and speaking um, of those goals, we'll get into some of our health goals in, in a moment um, that uh, somewhere, actually, I might have somewhere in, in my notes, I've got my, my personal health goal. Um, but for... I, I may have even made a note of it here, uh, potentially somewhere in my notes. <laughs> um, but what? Let, let's kind of move on, move on, and kind of show what our motivation was to become a health messenger, and 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 how we prepared for this weekend. Okay. I'll let you. You go first, Lauren, of what, uh, uh, sharing with our listeners what your motivation was. My motivation is just a, the the feeling of being able to know that I can do it is a huge, a huge thing. Um, knowing that I have the ability and that I'm capable of doing it just like everyone else. That that's my motivation because i want because you know i want i want to be healthy and yeah that's what i would say my motivation is awesome awesome for me i believe my motivation to become a health messenger is to to motivate myself and my teammates and my friends and my family to be healthy to live a healthy lifestyle and to also to educate the uh 
uh, uh, doctors and, and those about the importance of inclusive health, that that those of us with intellectual disabilities like Lowen and myself and the 6 million special Olympics athletes across the globe, that we have the right to inclusive health and, and to stay fit too. Right. I, I think that's another part of my my uh, motivation, uh, which bears upon my experience as a Southern Tribal Global Messenger in um, at the World Games in Berlin and Abu Dhabi, and and and, and seeing uh, the importance of our healthy athletes uh, and and, uh, and the importance of our health programs. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're going to go ahead and somewhere I've got, uh, I need to update my, uh, change my sound clips around a little bit, but uh, I, well, hopefully you all hear with that background music. If we're going to go ahead and just take a quick break to let you all know to support for Special Chronicles comes from listeners like you. Please support this podcast to help us operate our studio and pay our monthly website, podcast, and video recording studio hosting. It's free for you to listen, but it costs us money each month to keep this podcast and all of the podcasts on SpectralChronicles.com uh, free for you to listen. It's thanks to listeners like you. Will you um, please visit SpectralChronicles.com slash give at SpectralChronicles.com slash give with a monthly or one-time gift of thanks today. Thank you for your support from the bottom of my house. Specialchronicles.com slash give. And uh, there we go, Loan. Uh, with that, uh, we, we'll move into some of our, our big, big, big takeaways from the training, uh, which the, the training took place on, um, on a, a, couple, a, a couple months ago. Uh, and then we had um, just, I, th- I think from the time we recorded this a few weeks ago, we had part two um, that was on Zoom. And what we, and this can either be from the in person uh, that, that we, that we mm-hmm. attended at special Olympics headquarters, uh, or it can be also from the, the second part uh, that, that we had. Uh, but what was some of your biggest takeaways from the training? What messages just stood out? What messages resonate with us? Uh, I'll, I'll let you, you go first, and then, and then, uh, and then I'll kind of share. Sure. So for me, the biggest takeaway was hearing all the all all the stories and ideas of other people and opinions on um, all different types of health. Um, I definitely felt like I took away a hu- the huge part of um, the emotional health. Um, why I say that is because that is something I really highly value in myself is my um, emotional health. Um, I like to make sure that like a big a big huge thing about health is that you do what you you do every day what makes you feel comfortable with your body and being in tune with it and um like for example um I love to work I love to work out because not only do, do I feel like it's phys, not only is it physical activity it's also um it it calms me down it gets me in tune with my body it makes me feel confident with myself um yeah, after the workout I'm I'm very happy with how much I push myself during the workout. And it it doesn't just it doesn't just affect your fitness. It affects 
your emotional health and your mental health. And I think that is such a huge, that's what I took away from uh, the training. And I think more people need to realize that it's not just about the fitness when you, I think more people need to realize that when you're working out, it's not just about fitness. It's about how you feel inside. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I, I agree with, with you. Um, for me, similarly to you, and, and for, for those of you listening, uh, Lo and, and I did not compare notes before we started recording. So this is all off the cuff. Um, but similarly to you, I think with some of the messages that stood out for me in this Becoming Health Messenger training is the emotional health. Uh, well, for one was the... Um, the um in the hydration and infusion water with strawberries and um cucumbers and that that, that was kind of one message but the even bigger message is, sim- is similarly to you knowing the um strong minds discipline of 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 uh healthy athletes uh which relates to e- emotional health because a, a lot of times i think when you know our teammates or our friends or family a lot of times we'll think that uh, when we talk about uh, it, uh, being a health messenger, or we talk about the health programs, the Special Olympics, probably the first thing that people think of is, like you said, that the, the physical, uh, uh, the the um, fit five and the fitness and 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 those. But those all those. I should know this, but there, there's a whole series of disciplines uh, of of the uh, health programs, mm-hmm. um, right. Russia Olympic. And so, of that emotional health, the the strong minds is something that I took away. Uh, for example, I've got on my desk, no joke, I've got on my jet desk right next to the the uh, um, uh, mixer and my microphone here is this um, DIY. Um, uh, uh, stress ball that yeah you made so i've got it not i'm not, I'm not saying that podcasting is uh, stressful but <laughs> i'm not saying that i'm just saying i've got it i i think i i think i need to stop bringing this to work because uh <laughs> it works uh, i work yeah because like when we talk with passengers right um mm-hmm. so but we, so that was a, a big thing that I, I almost wish I knew some of that um, when I was in Berlin at, at the World Games because being a Southern Global, global Messenger with how busy, back to back busy our schedule was, I really, it, it wasn't until um, my mentor Karen and I were in, were in the taxi going. Back to the airport from the, when when we left the hotel when we were in the taxi, I got one of the other mentors gave me a strong minds bag from Special Olympics Colorado, and I wish I would have had that during the two weeks or the week and a half that that we, we were there. Uh, so it wasn't until the, the <laughs> taxi cab ride back to the airport that I, I got that. But now I'm glad that that that. The whole strong minds and emotional health was just like you, Lowen, was a big takeaway. And I think that's something that we yes. continue to educate our listeners, educate our community on. That's great. And speaking of t- the right home, now, when I had part one, if um, listeners, if you go to specialchronicles.com slash health, listen back to uh, the, the previous uh, part one of of this uh, of this uh, uh, podcast uh, series, and Eric, because he lives in Southern Illinois, he drove home south. We were driving home north, and so mm-hmm. for you, this question: talk about a white home. We like this is in a way. I wish I I would have brought the. I, I wish I would have recorded some of our conversation on 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 the white home uh uh but this is where we're, we're gonna of that 
would have been two hours. It turned into and it's a long ride home for us. <laughs> it was a long ride, but what I really loved about that is it gave us a chance to like either we're either we run into each other at work or we run into each other at all these Special Olympics events. But it really gave us a chance to really bond and uh, you know, just two friends taking yeah. a ride to and from the house messenger training. Um, I I thought that just uh, made us bond more. I I I agree. I think it did make us bond more. Uh, and w- and we even said <laughs> we should do this again because mm-hmm. it was. You know, I it's... really would love to do it again. I had so much fun with you, Danielle. Yeah, me me too. And this time I will not <laughs> spill my coffee. No, <laughs> spill your coffee. <laughs> <in the> <laughs> <laughs> that was really funny. It was. For the listeners, no. I spilled her coffee that she got from the from the hotel. The coffee she, she didn't. It was free coffee. So, I yeah, did. Yeah, that was a really funny <laughs> moment. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. So, uh, with of this funny moment, let's kind of take a step kind of back to the, the, the main topic. And yeah. that is, uh, we, I, I don't know how, how much reflection we did in the call. Cause we were talking about all different types of, all we were talking about all different types of stuff that, you know, friends talk about, but let's maybe kind of put ourselves back in the call. I know we're both in two different mm-hmm. studios. Right now, but let's kind of take, take, take ourselves back to February 24th. To that long, long, long car ride home, mm-hmm. and what kind of health must enjoy that we we both want to be, and and yeah, and we'll, then we'll we'll go on from there. But those kind of three, what we'll kind of divide this this ride home reflection into three different parts. So let's kick it off and and and, and say kind of what what kind of health must enjoy that we want to be, building upon our, the the messages. Uh, that stood out and that resonated, like building upon our biggest takeaways. If, if we were to kind of sum up everything that we learned, what kind of health messenger that we want to be now, now that we'll sort of fight health messengers? Right. Uh, for me, I would say that I would really focus on the emotional health. And I put that a lot in my blog uh by the way that is um it's called exceptionalities please uh check out my blog um so i write a lot about emotional health and i also write a lot about like special events that happen throughout the year like women's history month and um down syndrome like uh like National Down Syndrome Day, all of that. So um, I I do a little bit of that too. Um, but I think most of it is about emotional emotional health. Um, so I write a lot about that. And honestly, I I know that. I honestly, the other thing I would love to do with my health messenger stuff is do more of this with you. I mean, yeah. I I really like being able to collaborate with you, Daniel, because not only are you a fun person and easy to talk to and a great listener and give great advice, you're also um, someone who you're articulate. And you, you, you work so hard on your podcast, and honestly, is an inspiration to all of us. And I want to make sure you you yeah. realize that, Daniel. Thank and you. I like working with I like working with people that inspire me. Yeah, thank you. I I love working with you and and with people that inspire and empower me as well uh and if, if, 
jumping off of what you said, I think the kind of house muscle that I want to be is somewhat similar, but I want to be able to particularly like through this podcast and this uh, health mini series 2.0 is to educate the mainstream community, like the people, not just within inside our special Olympics community, but those, those outside our, our coworkers, our neighbors, our other people that will listen and hear about the importance of the special Olympics health programs. Uh, so that, that's kind of one kind of health muscle that I want to be, but I'll, uh, so kind of using this, this podcast series as an education, uh, as an education moment uh, to, to also collaborate with you, Lauren, to collaborate with um, Eric, to uh, our fellow health messengers, um, but, also to kind of along with that to also educate um, doctors and health professionals uh, it, it all kind of kind of fits so it's similar to you um, uh, whether it's your blog or this podcast series uh, that, that that's I think that that's the kind of health must know that I, I, I want to use kind of because I've Talking about all different other aspects of the special Olympics movement, so it's a perfect, uh, perfect uh, addition <laughs> to all the other topics on this on the Special Chronicles podcast that you are all listening to right now. Right. Um, I also want to add, I should say that I also want to be able to get other people to tell their stories about how they are giving back to Special Olympics and how Special Olympics has been a huge impact on them. Mm -hmm. I think it's very important to hear other people's stories and other people's opinions and ideas because, I mean, as I said, that was a huge takeaway for me at the at the health messenger training mm -hmm. because hearing what other people have to say I mean it's one thing for us to represent them and it's another for them to represent themselves and we need to get other people to represent themselves and show that they are capable are just as capable um of doing all of this health stuff and um just hearing what they have to say is going to be just as moving as what we have to say. Absolutely. And and going along, kind of, again, <laughs> jumping off, I think that's why we drive so uh, well, is that jumping off, I, I, I also want to be able to tell the have, – have all those special Olympic athletes to be able to tell their – not just their stories, but their health stories, their, their health journeys. Because uh, mm -hmm. if our community, uh, whether it's health professionals and doctors or our friends and neighbors or our coaches uh, or special Olympic staff, if, if they hear not just you and me, but other athletes and their health journeys, then um, it, it, they, they'll be able to battle uh, either solve us, whether it's a health professional, a doctor, or our coaches or staff. They'll be if if they heal not just our stories, but our health stories, our health journeys. Uh, it, it will they'll be able to better help uh, uh, give us the the support for special chronicles comes from United Airlines Bridge Business Resource Group. Connecting people of our abilities. Learn more on United's commitment to disability inclusion for employment and travel at specialchronicles.com slash united. At specialchronicles.com slash united. And whoa, oh, sorry. <laughs> you have been a five time guest on the Special Chronicles podcast. Thanks all for, for listening. And until then, uh, maybe we, we can say choose to include at the same time. Until then, have a great week. We'll see you. Um, back here next Monday, next week, same time, same place, specialchronicles.com. And until then, choose...
to include. Cheers to include. Talk to you next week. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Special Chronicles Podcast. Our podcast was produced by Daniel Smukowski on the Special Chronicles Network. Follow Special Chronicles on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. Subscribe, rate, and review Special Chronicles on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Our website, specialchronicles.com, where you can stream our archives of over 500 episodes for absolutely for free. Also, there's a list of our favorites, original series, award-winning columns, and blogs. And sign up for our newsletter to receive exclusive bonus content that delivers your inbox. Again, specialchronicles.com. Special Chronicles is hosted by Podbean Podcast Hosting. Our live streams are powered by StreamYard. Thanks, as always, to our business manager, Adam Smukowski, who always in- encourages us to never give up. I'm Daniel Smukowski, back next week with more stories. Special Chronicles. Brings back and a voice to people with special needs.